Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, I'm out at Vincel Farm Subdivision in Shirts, Texas, and we're gonna look at a home built by Coventry. This home's about a month out of completion. However, I got a client who just has the same model under contract, so I'm gonna do a video tour for her. Let's go check it out. Now, of course, it's super windy today, so I'm gonna try not to uh, get too much wind noise on this microphone, but this is the community. Uh, Bensel Farms, there's a ranch right over there that's going to be open for a long time. My client's lot's going to be on this corner right over there. So you're going to have a good lot. And this is a great location because right down Church Parkway, uh, down this way, you're going to have I-35 with all the shopping, including H-E-B, Lowe's, and easy access to Fort Sam. You do have Clemens High School right over this direction, along with the really beautiful Church Public Library and a gorgeous park and an, and an amazing YMCA. And just down the road a little bit that direction is Randolph Air Force Base right off I-78. So you're going to have central access to everything. Fort Sam, uh, depends on what time of day you're trying to get there, it's going to be about a 20-minute drive or it could be 30 to 35 minutes if you're hitting that rush hour traffic. Well, let's go check out this uh, Goodrich plan and see what it looks like on the inside. They do have some nice rock detail on the front and the other sides are gonna be brick. Nice little rock entrance way. They have the eight foot door on the front and I always recommend if you have the option to get the eight foot doors, go for it because it definitely makes the house look so much better. All right, finally out of the wind. I love the details here. I'm gonna to try to talk loud because I know, I know that wind's kicking in, but they've got a really nice elevation on the front of this house. Let's go outside and get out of this wind. They do have an eight foot door on the front. And if you're gonna have tall ceilings in a house, it always makes sense, even if it costs a little bit extra, to get the eight foot doors. Because, like I said in several of my other videos, it just really classes up. Now, I really like the entrance in here. That just looks great going up, and the wrought iron uh, rails just really look great. All right, coming right in, you do have a full bathroom. Now, like I said earlier, this house still one month away from being finished, so not every room has electricity or carpet in it. But you do have a room right up front, which would be perfect for an office or guest bedroom, because we do have closets. So technically it can be used as a bedroom. But look at how tall this front ceiling is in here. This is great. This is a two-story, but the second floor doesn't cover everything, so Coventry a really nice use of space for when they can go up, they went up. But if you're using that as a bedroom, you've got this that can be used as your office. So, or flex space. A lot of these builders are good at doing other things for it. You can do what you want to with it, but this one looks like it's going to be an office because there's no closet with the French doors with a beautiful flooring in here. This flooring is the luxury vinyl planks, which I really like because they can be used in the wet areas all throughout the house with no transitions. You have a nice little closet around to come in here. They've got the oversized hub. So if you're a tech person and want to have everything routed through here, you can put extra stuff into that box. All right, let's check out this main living area. They've got the, the owners of this house went with the herringbones backsplash. You can see they're gonna have the built-in cooktop with a microwave above it. With some can lighting in here, some black uh, granite there, and a pretty decent living space here. Now, I don't have the exact price of this individual home, but I think they're right around four-ish, give or take a little bit. Might be high threes or low fours, but somewhere in that price range. 
This is a gas community. I see the gas spigot right there. And then you're gonna have your oven. Ooh, I take it back, I was wrong. There's gonna be your built-in microwave right above your oven. This is gonna be your vent hood. So, curious to see what type of vent hood they're putting in here. Plenty of space right there for your breakfast table, dining room table, whatever combination you wanna have because most builders aren't doing a formal dining room anymore because it just saves space to do a combination. Yes, it's dusty here, it's a work situation. They got the stainless steel full sink. At least it's not a 50-50 because now you can actually do that. I prefer the granite sinks, but the stainless steel do work fine. The granite composite sinks are gonna be a little bit of a upgrade charge. They do have the corner pantry, which would look pretty nice. All right, let's check out the backyard. Now my client that is getting a good rich built, her backyard's going to be about 10 feet shorter than this one is. So you got a really pretty good size backyard here. So to take about 10 feet off and that's gonna be your backyard in the house uh, over on the corner that they just got under contract. Yep, it's a cloudy, kind of chilly day for Texas. We're about 55 degrees in one March, 2021, with the current date as I'm filming this. Go check out, I gotta hit the pantry. So yeah, that's a really good sized pantry there. Plenty of room for a small family. You got four or five uh, teenagers. Well, they're gonna eat through that food pretty quickly. But before I hit the owner suite, let's go upstairs. One of my YouTube her comments always told me is like, hey, always save the owner suite for the end. And it does make sense because I know so many of you guys watch about two or three minutes of these videos, then you click off it. Yeah, I look at analytics. I know what you guys are doing. So I need to try to keep you all into the most to the very end. Because I gotta get to that click, like, and subscribe part toward the end. And the share your my videos parts. But upstairs we have a really good play area game room area, whatever you want to do with this space. So, uh, nice view from above. Well, let's go ahead and look down and see what over, over the top looks like. Pretty slick. Now the builder of this house, they went with a home theater office option. Well, I think it would be really cool if they had put barn doors on the outside of this, just because it'd be better utilization of space for the home theater. But yeah, this is not the biggest room, but oh my gosh, I can imagine what this sound is gonna sound like once uh, you come in here to watch movies or play video games in this little theater room. And getting stuff pre-wired, a lot of builders, it's gonna cost more, it's an upgrade to get them pre-wired, but that's the hard part. So now you can select whatever speakers you wanna put in there, and just kinda of just plug them right in. They got the little pass-through setup right there, so there won't be any wires showing from the, the TV to the receiver. Good job thinking ahead. All right, time to go on the catwalk. That's not how the song goes. Well, I'm too sexy for my shirt, something like that. All right, we do have a bedroom up here. Well, I'm not gonna be able to that door until they put some type of handle on it, because I already tried. But this does show you what the their Texas basement looks like for Coventry. It got the radiant barrier up top. Lots of insulation here. 
and you got a little bit of space back there if you wanted to crawl back and put um, some plywood to put your Christmas decorations being stored. All right. Now I noticed on the first floor you have the eight foot doors. Second floor, this is very common where you'll see your six foot seven doors on the second floor or else, good God, that, this roof, this tall place will be super tall then. But if you've got tall ceilings, you want tall doors. If you've got regular height ceilings, then it doesn't matter. But you do have a full bathroom upstairs. And they took the tile almost to the very top. And the other bedroom upstairs. Like I said, we got regular height ceilings on the upstairs. A view from the catwalk from above. All right, let's head downstairs and check out that owner suite. All right, we're back downstairs. And they got back to the tall doors. Love it. All right, well, before we get to the owner suite, right outside the owner suite, this is the entrance to the garage. So you come right through the laundry room. And Sally went a little creative on the floors. Beautiful. They got the rack there. And then a little bit of a mudroom space. Great place to sit down, take your shoes off, tuck your other shoes away. And the owner suite here does have the tray ceilings in it. Coming into the bathroom, we got a big old garden tub right there. Nice big window. Dual vanity sinks right there. Like I said, it's still under work. It looks like they're gonna be putting a medicine cabinet in. Linen closet. Water closet. And then the full standing shower. And of course, dear master bedroom closet. With the wood shelves, I always like the wood shelves over the no, IKEA looking framing, I mean fire shelves in here. All right, that's gonna wrap a tour of this home that's about a month away from being completed in Benzel Farms in Church, Texas. This is the Goodrich model. If you got any questions or interested in moving to this area, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I live in the area. I, if you watch my videos, you can realize I'm pretty good at knowing the area. So it's, and I haven't mentioned the last couple of videos, but remember, buyers don't pay realtor fees. The seller or the builder does so don't go through this process without a realtor it's silly and for military I get a nice little rebate so reach out to me my information is gonna be on the final slide and I'll talk to you soon and like subscribe and share with your friends all right talk to you soon take care now bye